Hey guys, how's it going? Toby here, and welcome back to another one of our squad builders. And this time, I've got a little bit more of an expensive team for you. Not too much, not crazy expensive, but compared to what I usually do, which is under 10k or around 15k, because I love the cheap teams, because some of the really cheap players can be absolutely outstanding and can genuinely surprise you for the amount of coins that you did pay for them. But this time, we're going for around 30k because I wanted to try out one of the strikers that everyone has been raving about on things like Foothead and I thought I'll give him a go and see how he does for me because the last team, the strikers did absolutely amazing for me and I was wondering if anyone could beat that. But thank you so much for the support on the previous squad builder. It's well over 200 likes. I'm so, so grateful. It's absolutely incredible. The support lately has been phenomenal and I can't believe that I'm under 200 subscribers away from 10k. That is amazing. I, I'm just over the moon at the moment. It's absolutely brilliant. But thank you so much. In goal at the moment, we've got Sirigu, and I have used this guy before. He's six foot four, picked him up for 1,000 coins, 85 diving, 79 handling, 87 reflexes, and 84 positioning. I find that the only thing that really lets him down is his kicking, but saying that I usually do throw it out to my players anyway to get the ball moving a little bit quicker. Right hand side we've got Sarko, let me just find him, a great great defender especially for the coins, 550 coins, 6 foot 2 and he's got some great stats, 75 pace, 78 defending and 81 heading, a really really solid centre back, I've always been genuinely pleased with him, used him in a couple of teams now. On the right hand side we've got someone that may be a little bit controversial, some people really do not like this guy but I found him to be absolutely fine, I didn't have a problem with him. Everyone says that his positioning is dreadful. He does have an attacking work rate, which is why that is so bad. But in all honesty, I actually found him to be perfectly fine. I didn't have any problems. He was always back when I needed him. But he did actually attack the ball quite well and was pushing forward. But 85 pace, 73 defending, 72 heading and 75 dribbling, along with 72 passing, which is not bad at all. Like I said, I really didn't have any trouble with him, but I do understand why some people may not like him. I'm kind of used to the attacking right backs and left backs though. So it works out quite well. On the left hand side we've got Ogbonna and this guy is such a tank. I've used him once before in another team. 1,900 coins, 6 foot 2, 80 pace, 81 defending and 82 heading. Those stats are fantastic. Really great centre back. Left side we've got Dee Chegley and he is a great left back. I believe his work rates are medium medium which is quite nice for a left back but 82 pace 75 defending 77 passing 74 heading and he's just a great player on the left hand side he does keep up nicely with any wingers trying to run down and cross it into the box but left centre mid we've got Freddy Guari and he is by far one of my favourite players he does however work a little bit better in the middle of the team I've used him before in the middle and he did work a lot better there on the left hand side he didn't get involved too much but again an outstanding player just look at all those stats all green i'm not going to read off every single one of those but outstanding stats 79 defending and 81 passing really really nice for a center mid in the middle here probably one of my favorite players in this team i didn't expect him to be this good i was torn between him and pirlo but this guy is outstanding four star weak foot really helps out with his shot which is amazing by the way I didn't actually score any, but every time I took a long shot from around 35 yards out, it was always on target and troubling the keeper. 80 pace, 77 shooting, 82 passing, 84 dribbling and 76 defending. They are amazing stats. That is absolutely brilliant. I was genuinely impressed with this guy. Really, really solid sentiment. Just, I can't really say any more about him. On the right hand side, we've got Anita. This guy I have used before, which is why it says 70 games. Like I said, I've probably played about 15 games with this team, all online as well, all the clips are online. I haven't actually played any friends in this in this little squad builder. I usually do play a couple of games against base, but this time I haven't. 83 pace, 74 dribbling, 74 defending, really, really great player. But like Freddy Guarin, in the right hand side, he didn't get involved too much. I believe he got a couple of goals though, but I have played this guy in so many teams. He basically features in my locked up Lamela team, which is why he's played 70 games. Right forward. We have got Ben Arthur and I have been wanting to use this guy for absolutely ages because I like my 5 star skillers and that is what he's got. 5 star skills, 4 star weak foot, 2,400 coins, 10 goals in 15 games. That is a fantastic ratio, especially for a right forward but 83 pace, 75 shooting, 
76 passing, 86 dribbling, a really great player. And his, his flip flap was actually the first flip flap that I've been able to control properly and use to get past someone. Usually, I find that skill to be pointless and rubbish, but I actually managed to use it and score a nice goal in the clips, which you are welcome to check out. But moving on to the striker. In fact, no, we'll go left forward first. I'll say the striker till last, as I do usually. Left forward, we've got Gio Vinka. This guy is so quick, and his speed dribbling is brilliant. He can change direction incredibly fast. 1,700 coins, 9 goals in 15 games, 4-star weak foot, 3-star skills. Big shame, considering last year he had 5-star skills, and on head-to-head -head he still does. 92 pace, 78 shooting, 77 passing, and 92 dribbling. Seriously, this guy is absolutely brilliant. His pace is unbelievable, and it's nice to have a really quick player in a team. At least one of them, it's always nice, because if you do get stuck in a little situation, you can whip the ball over to him, and he'll just floor it down the wing. But moving over to our striker, this guy's the one that I wanted to try out for so long. Everyone's been raving about him. Balotelli, he's played against me quite a few times and been an absolute tank, and now I understand why. Four-star weak foot, four-star skills, 13 goals in 15 games, six foot two, 84 pace, 82 shooting. 84 dribbling, a fantastic player. This guy is just an absolute machine. He will power through defences. 18,250 coins. And with the team of the year tonight, that will probably drop dramatically. Seriously, all the prices tonight are going to go absolutely crazy. I may have a pack opening out tonight for team of the year, which should be very interesting. I'm looking forward to seeing the Ballon d'Or and seeing who gets into the team of the year. It should be very good. But that is the team. I do hope you have enjoyed this one. It is a little bit more pricey compared to what I usually do, but I believe I picked this up for around 30,000 coins, and you can probably get it for a lot cheaper now. So do pick up this team. I did enjoy it. Great fun. Let me show you some goals, and you guys can see for yourself. Thank you very much for watching, guys. Take care. Have an amazing day, and goodbye.